everyone. This is Ashley Latecki Ellenvoss with Sky House Herb School and Apothecary. And today I'm going to share with you three of my favorite herbs for doing introspective work. So what is introspective work? Uh, this is the stuff that you need to do on your own. This is the stuff that no one's going to hold your hand and help you with. It's the making lists of the things that you're working on. Um, it's the sitting quietly with yourself and asking yourself the hard questions. How am I feeling? What do I need? What needs to change? How do I change it? Um, it's also just the quiet time sometimes we need to draw or to do art or to find different ways to express what's going on inside. And plants can be such wonderful allies in assisting us in that process of going inward and figuring out our needs and being able to express them in a very healthy and sacred way. And really, I think now more than ever, you know, with the pandemic and just the changes in the world we're seeing that, you know, even though we might feel like we are isolated, uh, I think isolation is, is different than doing introspective work. You know, we can be alone and not be as social as we were and still be avoiding the inner work that's necessary. So I, I really think that our whole community would be served if more of us were taking it a little more seriously and saying, okay, what do I need to work on? What do I need to do? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about some plants. I'm gonna talk about them from kind of the most gentle to what I would consider to be stronger allies. So the first one is chamomile and chamomile is a wonderful plant. It's aromatic, it's gentle and gently, it's slightly sweet, it's a little bit bitter and it works really nicely in a tea. So if you're gonna be sitting down quietly, reading a book, journaling, doing art, doing something that's going to be introspective and, um, and a little bit lighter than a cup of chamomile tea. There's really nothing better and add a little, stir a little bit of honey or sweetener of your choice in there because chamomile is a very gentle nervine. It takes the nervous system down from, you know, a level of intensity into a level of moderate anticipation. So, you know, you, you get out of that intense need to get away from things or to run into something new. And it gives you that, that spaciousness mentally to just say, oh, I can stay here another minute. I can stay here another minute. I can take a few more deep breaths. So brew yourself a cup of chamomile tea, a few teaspoons and a large mug, let it steep for maybe 10 minutes. You don't have to let it steep that long. Um, even five minutes would be fine. And just start sipping on it. If you let it steep longer, that's actually okay too because a lot of the bitter compounds are gonna come out, which is really good for digestion. It's also good for the nervous system. That bitter taste has a reflex that um, hits the vagus nerve and causes a relaxation response. And I get it, not everyone loves to drink bitter tea. So take it out a little early, add a little extra sweetener. But that's my, that I would say is probably my top herb that's also the most accessible is chamomile. Um, the second one is, um, well, actually I had two in the middle category, so I'll, I'll give them both to you. So the first one is skullcap. Skullcap is a gentle nervine. It's very bitter, so it works best as a tincture. And so you can just take maybe one to two droppers full on your tongue, you know, every 10 minutes while you're doing inner work. It's really good for busy thoughts. If you're the type of person that has you know, you're, you have 10 plates spinning at the same time and you sit down to do one thing, but then your mind jumps to all the other things you could be doing or should be doing and you can't just settle yourself. It's also good for that when you can't fall asleep because your mind's spinning. But for doing the inner work, a little bit of skull cap, Scutellaria lateriflora is a wonderful plant. And uh, again, it, it, it's, it just takes that edge off, but really it works on the mind. I feel like chamomile works on the mind and body in a very gentle sort of pacifying way. Whereas skull cap really works mostly just on the mind and goes like, shh, stay still, it's okay. And that's a really good message that I think helps people stay, stay in the zone. 
The other one is holy basil. And uh, mm -hmm. this is holy basil that I made. Um, this is a tincture I made from the Kapoor variety. And holy basil is a, an adaptogen, so it helps the body regulate its stress response. It's also an herb that's considered to be very holy and sacred. And so if you're going to be doing deep work that is maybe a little more spiritual in nature and a little more existential, you might want to bring in some holy basil. And in India, they say that just taking one leaf a day, so this is a little holy basil plant that I have from a cutting, um, and you can just take one leaf and just pinch it and just eat one leaf a day. Mm, it's minty and a little spicy, a little camphory. Um, but just chewing on the fresh leaf is a really nice way to just, I can already feel it. It's just like, um, it has this very, like almost like you're being hugged. Um, it's, it's considered to be the, um, a plant that is uh, an embodiment of the, of the sacred mother or the holy mother. And there's a whole great book about it that I have here called Tulasi Devi. Oop, it's not in focus, do, do, do. Um, the goddess of devotion. And this is um, a picture of, of uh, the hugging saint. Some of you might know her, Ama. Um, so uh, this is a book that I think she wrote along with, with her devotees, but um, they, the whole book just talks about all of the medicinal properties, but also its spiritual properties and how this plant is a really wonderful herb to open up our, uh, open up our minds, open up our hearts. Oop, I'm out of focus. Hello. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. <laughs> um, to, and to bring spiritual, that's actually it, to bring spiritual focus back into our lives. How about that? Thank you, camera, for that jostling of insight. So we can do that when we're doing inner work to bring the spiritual focus back into our lives, just taking either a little bit of Tulsi tea, a little bit of Tulsi leaf, a few drops of Tulsi tincture in our mouths. And then the last one, this is a little bit of a different approach. Um, this is something that I learned from Matthew Wood. And um, he uses um, Angelica, Archangelica. Um, I'm all out of Angelica, Archangelica, Archangelica. So I'm just gonna be using Angelica sinensis, which is like a relative. Um, they both are used pretty interchangeably uh, in herbal medicine, although they do have some some differences. So I would prefer to use the Angelica Archangelica, which is what I typically like to burn, but you can also burn the Angelica Sinensis. So um, the smoke, the smell, it's a very, how do I describe it? Um, it's like musky, sweet, and oily. It's like a very resinousy plant. Uh, Matthew Wood talks about Angelica as being bear medicine, and it is. It's sort of a kind of oily, musky, and um, and it's a plant of the dream time. It, it, Angelica arc Angelica specifically is an herb of the dream time. It's it's uh, a medicine of the bear who goes into that deep hibernation. So what you can do is you can just burn some of these and I just have a little um, a little shell that I'm going to be using and you can just burn the roots, the dried roots, and they let off this really beautiful smell um, and it just really will fill the air. I'll hold it up here so you can see. But this is a really nice thing to do if you're going to be, um, you know, doing some deep inner work um, and it, it's said to really open and expand um, consciousness. Oh, it smells kind of like maple syrup and honey and a little camphor. Oh, it's really delightful. So you can burn a little bit of this root um, before you before you go into some of those more introspective spaces. Um, and you know, you can really get it going and then it can fill the room. And I remember we did this at my friend Teresa's in her yurt. We burned a bunch of this and we all were like, whoa. I mean, it really takes already I can feel it in my body. It, it just shifts the, it, it just alters consciousness like pretty quickly um, into a state of like curiosity and wonder. Um, and that is so good for entering into the psyche and entering into that inner work. 
So I don't have very much here. I probably just had maybe like a, a teaspoonful of the dried herb. And you do have to, you know, if you have, um, there's different ways you can burn it, but you could also put it on maybe a little bit of, of crushed sage leaves so that it can catch and burn a little bit more fully. Um, that would be another way. You can also diffuse the essential oil. You can buy Angelica, Archangelica essential oil and diffuse that into the space. It's not as strong, but it's good. So. I hope you found that interesting. Let me know which herbs you use to help you go into introspective places. We're heading into the new moon here, um, I think just tomorrow. So uh, it would be a really good time in the next few days to use this and to see what you can uncover within yourself. So thank you so much for watching everyone. And I hope you have a wonderful day.